Hello, I am Dark Wolf Art, and today's video is just going to be a nice quick one. I'm going to show off some of my Super Nintendo Entertainment System games and some of my N64 games, which I have managed to get a hold of now after they were in my parents' attic. So, uh, here we go. One of the best RPGs on the SENS. SENS, blah, blah. We have Secret of Mana by uh, Squaresoft. Uh, a classic game from back in the 90s, uh, RPG. Uh, if you haven't played this one, I do recommend it. There is a uh, remake of it out now. Uh, well, let's just go into play it. Put that over there. Next one, another classic. Super Mario All-Stars, which included Super Mario, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, and Super Mario The Lost Levels, which is basically Super Mario, but on hard mode. Uh, great little collection of games. Definitely one not to pass up on. Next, Disney Classic. I've played this before for the Mega Drive. The Lion King. Focus. Why won't you focus? Will you focus there? Do you not like the Lion King? How dare you! There we go. Uh, kind of. Oh, anyway, it's the Lion King on the SNES. Another good platforming game, actually. One of the best fighting games which came out, not the Turbo Edition, but the original Street Fighter 2. Can get that in shot at all. Yeah, I am doing this on my phone today. Uh, so there you are, the original Street Fighter 2. No Turbo Edition or Championship Edition was the other one. Just the irregular one. And then from a great movie, Lethal Weapon. I cannot remember how this game plays or whatsoever. I can't remember if it's good or not, so. It's been a long time. Another classic platformer. Super Mario World, which is most probably the best one on the SNES, I would say. Some might disagree, but all, all Mario games are good, to be honest. You can't really go wrong. And then another classic fighting game from back in the day. Of course, Mortal Kombat. No, this really doesn't want to focus. There we go, look at that, there it is. And all its dragon glory. Mortal Kombat, the first game to show a load and load and loads and loads of blood, I think. I'm going to say that anyway, I don't know if that's right or not. And then last but not least for the SNES, is Aladdin, which... Obviously the sticker is in a great condition, but it still plays, so... It's all good. So then we come on to the N64. Uh, mostly the boxes and a couple of hung up boxes. So three of them. So we'll start off with WrestleMania 2000. Will you focus? There we are. WrestleMania 2000. You know what a wrestling game is. I ain't gonna blab on about that. We're going to a racing game next. Revolt, where you played as RC cars, which drove around the world. Well, yeah, of course they drove around the world. It's a racing game. What am I saying? I'm going crazy or something. Another racing game. An arcade racer, Top Gear Overdrive. Let's just move you. And you fell over. Great. There. Done. Right. Top Gear Overdrive. Nice arcade racer. Fine. Bomberman 64. Bomberman coming out with a single player story. Not quite sure why. It was fun though. Uh, multiplayer was obviously the best. Multiplayer on Bomberman is obviously the best. I don't think anybody can disagree with me on that. Now the best racer for the N64 was Mario Kart 64. Yes, his second out in, in the karting world. Uh, Mario Kart 64, again, uh, just like with any of his games, really, you cannot go wrong. If you haven't played it, don't bother. Just play the new one on the Switch. And that's really good. The next, Mission Impossible. Yep, based on the Tom Cruise movie. Not very good. It's definitely no Metal Gear Solid, I'll tell you that. And then, some games cannot be played without this. We have the N64 Expansion Pack. Yeah, it gave a few more uh, megabytes to the N64. How much did it give? 
four, four extra megabytes, a whole four extra megabytes. Uh, so I bought this because I wanted to play the South Park game which came out, the first person shooter one. So that's why I bought that. F1 World Grand Prix. I nearly said World Tour Grand Prix or whatever. It's an F1 game, you know what F1 is. Had a secret volcano level, it's pretty cool. And next is a classic of all time. And again, you cannot disagree with me on this. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, I my, uh, my managed to get a copy of this on a sort of day of release. It was like the last one in the shop and I managed to get it for Christmas. So I was very happy with this game. Next up from the Pokemon variant, Pokemon Puzzle League. So yeah, based on the TV show, I say that, it's a match-free game, very good match-free game. I enjoyed this very much so, uh, but it had all the anime characters in it. So it's very good. One of the best fighters of the N64, Super Smash Brothers. Yes, the original. And every game since has been fantastic. If you've not played any of the Smash Brothers, I highly recommend going to buy it. And next, another Pokemon. Pokemon Snap. So you went round six levels, I think it was, or seven, or how many levels, whatever. Uh, taking photos of Pokemon. Very good game. I haven't played the new one, which came out on Switch. I'll get round to it eventually. And then last but not least... Pokemon Stadium, so all those Pokemons that you bought, oh, sorry, captured on the Game Boy, you can now play on the N64. And this is actually the second game, even though it says Pokemon Stadium, technically the first one which was released only in Japan, only had about 60 Pokemon on it. Whereas this one has the full 151 Pokemon, including Mew, and it included Transfer Pack as well. So you could transfer all your own Pokemon onto there and battle them. So yeah, that is my uh, N64 collection and my SNES collection. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.